Yo, what is up, y'all? It's your boy Zani the Greatest, and welcome back to another YouTube video. Leave a like on this video, subscribe if you are new, and I got three of the best mobility items to use as a survivor in Dragon Ball The Breakers. Let's get on into this video, y'all. So, the first mobility item that we are gonna be covering on the list is the jump pad. Yo, this item is actually pretty, pretty, pretty solid. If you wanna get around the map and not get too far, but get to a certain spot quickly and in a hop skip, use the jump pad. You jump so high in the air and you can even use it into another mobility item we'll be covering last to get to the spot you need. I love using the jump pad. The jump pad is just so useful. It reminds me of one of those, the Fortnite days when we had the launch pad. If you wanna just use it to get high up to even scout, I've used this mobility item to literally just get up in the air and scout around or to see where the beacons are at or to see where any boxes I can loot at. It's, it's, a, it's a pretty solid and well-rounded mobility item to use. So item number two, the long line. Yo, this item right here is actually one of, I, I think it's the favorite mobility item that I've used. You can launch yourself literally across the entire map if you wanted to, and it's great for escaping the raider. It's great for getting to places um, quickly. It's great for when you need to travel that distance to get to the key to unlock it, and you can just like zip line over through like a building or zip line from a mountain to the other side. It, it, it's crazy. You can zip line from C to B. It's crazy. I love using this to get away. I love this using this as just as a standard mobility item. I think I use it throughout the entire game when I do have it. So this is a great, great mobility item to use. Okay, guys, and the last device that we're covering today is the hover device. Like I said in the first device uh, um, showcase, the jump pad can, can be used. And then once you use the jump pad, you can hold down RS or whatever, you know, control you're on and actually hover to wherever you want even longer you can hover in the air again you can use it for scouting you can use it for getting to high places you can use it for like i said getting those short distances and you don't want to over accentuate the distance or you don't want to over exert and it's just a good 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 um device to have when you're just trying to case around the map but not be too noticeable um i wouldn't recommend using it higher up i recommend using it in lower terrain but more so where like you're hiding behind things and darting behind it because it's easier uh, to use it in that fashion. Just kind of using it willy nilly in the air, you're gonna get seen. Uh, it, it's gonna be obvious and th that's not good for you as a survivor, but yeah. So yeah, guys, it was a quick one today. That was my top three mobility items to use in Dragon Ball The Breakers. Leave a like on this video, subscribe if you are new. I got way more tip drill videos and stuff and a lot more Dragon Ball content coming out. We got that DLC 15 pack coming out soon, y'all. It's coming, it's creeping. And we got some more Dragon Ball Breakers, um, like I said, content and stuff like that i'm gonna be getting some more actual run throughs and gameplay just some fun gameplay to get get you guys pumped up and th yo this game is doing it's doing pretty good for 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 what i for what i was hearing it's doing pretty good uh i know there's a lot of hate but we're gonna keep it strong guys see you guys thank you